when, when it was brought to our attention. She's done it to other children too, so she's really rough with the kids. Yeah, like, um, she's upset because they wouldn't sleep. Okay, so I don't understand. Alyssa Bowen, a daycare worker, their son enrolled there. If there are all of these videos, three that we've managed to dig up so far of her mistreating infants that can't find that, how long had it been going on? I hadn't, hadn't heard about it until pretty much when the news came to the facility. That's when I found out also. I at least, no how it so at least the news. lawyers, David Lee Winditcher, Defense attorney and author Alex Sanchez joining me out of New York. Okay, Alex, what's your best defense? Well, I've looked at that video several times. I mean, it's a little over the top in terms of the rocking, but I don't know if it rises to the level of criminality where she could be held accountable in, you know, in a criminal court of law. So, you know, even if she did what she allegedly do, the question I have is, what's the injuries? Have, has there been any independent examination? to determine if this child is injured, because that would determine whether or not she should be brought up on serious charges. Alex, have you ever defended a shaken baby syndrome case? Yes, I have. And that, right. that does not rise, as far as I'm concerned, that does not rise to the level of shaken baby syndrome. Let me tell you, if you look at that video, the woman is not hitting the child. She's not punching the child. She's not swinging the child around. That's she's the whole a little point. bit. She's a little bit over the top, I admit. But does it rise to the level of criminal liability? I think it just oh, is slightly below stars. that line. when I even look at that video, Karen Stark, 